Now let us look into the properties of another important material for pre-stressed concrete member which is the concrete. Concrete is basically a mixture of cement, waters, fine and coarse aggregates. The cement can be in different types which is known as the CM125. These are the descriptions of different types of the cement. Their compositions are listed here. The ordinary Portland cement is classified under CEM1. These are different strain class of the cement. 32.5 42.5 and 52.5 The N and R here represent the ordinary early strand and high early strand. That means the cement class R are considered the rapid hardening cement. This represents the compressive strand of the cement over the time. Day 2, Day 7, and Day 28. The compressive strength is defined by megapascal or newton per mm square. The class 32.5, 42.5, and 52.5 represent their strength at the mature date, which is 28 days. Their strengths are normally greater than this at day 28. For the rapid hardening cement, the strength build up faster than the normal early strength. These are the initial setting time which is defined by the minutes. For the typical concrete for the applications of pre-stressed members, the typical water cement ratio is about 0.4. It means that the weight of the water over the weight of the cement is about 0.4. The 0.4 water cement ratios are not fully utilized for the hydration process. Only 0.25 is used for the hydration process. The hydration process is the chemical reactions between cement and water in order to produce cement matrix for hardening of the concrete. The extra water cement ratios are meant for the workability purposes. In case that a higher workability is required, super plasticizer may be applied. As for the coarse and fine aggregate, they need to be inert and properly graded. Inert means that they are not chemically reactive and they should not disturb the hydration process between the cement and water. Properly graded means that the size of the aggregate needs to demonstrate an adequate distribution of different sizes within the acceptable range. It is so that an adequate bonding between the cement matrix and adequate can be ensured. Also, the aggregate must not be expensive or porous. This will affect the quality of the concrete. And it should not contain organic content such as salt and sulfate. This will affect the durability of the concrete.